We're less than an hour away from the series finale of the Big Bang Theory right here on KFES 12. The show centers around four friends who are scientists and really, really smart. So we wanted to find out about our local physicists, uh, physicists, physicists. <laughs> See, I couldn't be on that show because yeah. I'm not smart. But <laughs> and what they think of the show that we are calling the Heartland Theory. I'm Michael Cobb. I'm a professor here at the Department of Chemistry and Physics. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it's one of my favorite shows. The fundamental problem with elementary quantum mechanical formalism is that the Fourier transform extends to minus infinity in time. I think the writing and the editing and just the whole production is just very well done. And I like the, uh, the technical aspects of it as well. His statement was factually correct. My job's a little bit different than theirs. Uh, most of my time is spent in the classroom. Uh, I do do research on the side, but um, they do research full time. And so it, it is a little bit different. You can catch uh, three more Heartland Theory episodes tonight at 10. And don't forget, the hour-long Big Bang series finale starts at 7 o'clock tonight right here on KFES 12. Well, if you're a fan of the Big Bang Theory, you might be a little sad right now. The popular sitcom, si sitcom signed off the air tonight right here on KFES after 12 seasons. So we're going to try to cheer you up by introducing you to some of our own local physicists and find out what they think of the show. We're calling it the Heartland Theory, and here's the first one. I am a physicist and I work uh, mostly with, with, I'm actually a molecular biophysicist. Don't dumb this down for me. <laughs> uh, I've been very familiar with uh, the Big Bang Theory uh, since, uh, since it started coming out. Um, people, I remember being a graduate student, I think whenever it was maybe in its second or third season, and uh, people would actually meet me um, out in public and social events and they'd be like, you're a physicist, like the Big Bang Theory? <laughs> Why, because they're PhDs and I'm just an engineer? And uh, would usually quickly get the nickname Leonard because uh, people tend to, as soon as they found out that I was a physicist, they would try to compare me to either uh, Sheldon or Leonard. Because I'm the boss. Yeah, you are. <laughs> Leonard is definitely more of an experimental physicist and, and Sheldon more of a theoretical person, so I would probably side a little bit more with Leonard because I am an experimental physicist. I, I think it's really great that, uh, that we physics has kind of been in the spotlight over the last several years, and I'm sorry to see it end. My name is Sarah Hagen, and I'm an undergraduate physics major here at Southern Illinois University in Carbondale. <gasps> Do you mean it? No, no, it's too late. You can't take it back. But here at SIU, I have the privilege of being an undergraduate researcher, and I'm researching in a theoretical physics group. I research in the fields of quantum information and quantum computation. Um, so essentially, the theoretical physics behind quantum computers. Gosh, this makes me happy. Yeah. <laughs> My family and I started watching the show years ago when it first started. Um, all Everybody in my family was a big fan. Hello, Sheldon. Hello, Sheldon. <laughs> People always call me a Sheldon, I think. It's like the theoretical physics angle. My mom calls me Sheldon. Um, so I think that's kind of the impact that it's made. Hey. 